This video is designed to help educators of Key Stage 1 and EYFS teach high quality foundational movements to their children in PE lessons. This session will limit getting the children to sit in lines as a way to create control within the group. This allows more time for movement and more time for them to engage in physical literacy. It also highlights any movement deficiencies that may need extra work. At the end of the day, it's all about getting the children active. A traditional lesson may include the children entering the sporting space in an ordered and controlled manner. It takes every element of their self-control for the child not to want to explore the space. They spend a large amount of time in smaller spaces, so let them have fun. Let them explore. Let them run. This activity incorporates a variety of different movements. It teaches the children how to stop on command, adopt an athletic position, and also challenge the dynamic movement competencies of the children in the class, whilst keeping their attention without the use of lines. And freeze! Okay guys, now what I want you to do is when you freeze, I want your feet wide apart and I want your hands out in front. So show me freeze. Show me freeze. Fantastic, run round. And freeze. Are you okay? Yeah? Have those hands out in front of you. Hands out in front. Okay, knees bent. The reason why we have our hands out in front is if we fall over, we can put our hands out in front of us and it will stop our faces getting smished. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving around as a bear. So watch me first, okay? We're going to have our feet on the ground, our hands on the ground, looking round, and let's have us moving round as a bear. Off you go. And freeze. Amazing. Feet wide apart, knees bent, hands out in front. The next animal I would like you to be moving round as is a kangaroo. Okay, but this is a different kangaroo. This is a cautious kangaroo. The kangaroo is going to jump. Look round, jump, look round, jump, look round. You okay? Let's go. Jump, look round, don't forget to look round. And freeze. Incredible. Next animal. Okay, it swims on water, but it can also fly. Amazing. So we're going to drop down to this position. And it's a very slow waddle, and we are all amazing ducks. And freeze. Okay, we're going to think about these two movements. Okay, we're going to think about that duck movement. Show me that freeze position. Okay, and we're also going to think about that kangaroo movement. We're going to mix them together, and we're going to do a frog jump. Amazing. And freeze. Let's have you running around one more time. And freeze. And sit down. Guys, give yourself a big clap. That was awesome. In some instances, when the child is faced with a very challenging task or the child's safety is at risk, lines are very effective. But do not use them as a way to create order in a chaotic lesson, as you could be stealing precious physical literacy time.